Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I would like to show us how we can add our digital elevation model that is them into our ArcGIS and then we we'll also select our study the study area of our interest using the shape file and then we we'll see how we can be able to create uh, 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 controls and probably a terrain maps remember that in the previous videos i showed us how we could easily download the digital elevation model data from usgs that is united state geological survey so in today's tutorial let's head straight to arc map then we'll go to new file I'll go to new, wait for it to load. This blank is blank, hit OK. We click on no because we want a new um, environment. So uh, the next step is to make our setup. All right, left click on this, right click, then go to property. Go to general for my display. I would like to select meters in this case. Display, I also like a map that's meter and then the displays degree, minutes, and seconds. And then I apply. And for the coordinate system, I can use WGS UTM zone 32 because Nigeria falls under that zone. And the case that I want to use, Abuja falls under this zone. Sorry, Nigeria actually have three zones. We have the 30, sorry, the 31, 32, and 33. Just as I explained in some of my videos previously. So you should know that the dem file is actually a reference file. We don't need to reference. All we need to do is to make the setup for our display pane and then add up the data. So I will allocate my download from my uh, PC, and this was the previous dem file I downloaded. What I normally do is I cut this, I cut, minimize this, go to my desktop, create a folder just to ensure that I have easy accessibility. The folder called it DEM, that's the child elevation model. I click on enter, open up this folder, and then paste that zip files. So, what we'll do is unzip it, right click, and then extract here. We extract it here. We allow it to process seven eight data as a tip file tip file does tag image file format okay so i minimize then i come to my uh, arc map or arcgis i add data here i can right click on that layer and add data so i like to click to connect the folder go to this pc and then my desktop is actually faulty, so all my desktop is under this download. So I click on download and look for them. You can see that I have it ready there. I left click once and I OK it. It add up this file. Then what I'll do, I'll, I'll click the left, the first one, and then I'll hold shift on my keyboard and click the right, the last one, and then I add it up. So we'll wait for it to process. You click on yes. Yes. You keep clicking on yes until all those files get added up and processes. So after adding all this, this is actually what you have for your uh, 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 paint for your display. And then we have about one two three four five six seven eight now i want you to observe the description here this first dem fight has the a high and low value of 300 and 239 this meters and this actually standard deviation and then this is a uh, minimum this is median this is mean so i want to show us how we can easily minimize and then get rid of the dem that we don't want to use so I would love us to use mean. 
so we can click on this and right click and remove uh, click on this one and shift click on the next one and remove click one hold the shift to three and also remove okay so the next step is um to add up our shape file remember i had a video where i explained how we can add up shape file so i'll click on add data and then i'll go to connect folder under my desktop which is download but just with desktop i have where i have the uh, nigeria shp that the shape file i click on it and then i click uh, on nigeria shp once and add ok and wait for it to upload it refuse let's try it again this pc download uh, you click on nigeria shp one click on ok it's supposed to come up let's try it for the last time download uh, nigeria shp click on let's go click on um nigeria admin and click ok okay non-existing nigeria should be done. i left click once and add then i select uh nigeria administrative tool is where you have the state and local government and nigeria administrative fund just the local government and that's what i want to left click once and click on add I like to come up and there you have it exactly the way it's manifested on our website so what we do is to extract this abuja so what do we do we come to this uh this actually the stand uh, the tools uh, toolbar it's called a tool toolbar you click here you select by cycle zoom in and select this abuja okay if you want to name get the name you can right click go to property and then um, you see um, the name of that's name one then you come to um, your layer here and you activate uh, label you can see that it's all Nigeria then we we'll go to property and change it to name one so we'll wait for it to load then you click it down arrow down click on name one and apply okay the reason why I did this for us to see uh, this is actually Abuja in Nigeria, that is the Federal Capital Territory. So I still activate this and left click. And then I go to my job processing, select clip. And then input features Nigeria 1. Um, click feature also Nigeria 1. Then the location, I would like to give it a location. I have to give it to that. Um, I'll come to connect the folder this PC download them I right click and create a new folder under them let's call it ship file Abuja ship file Abuja ship file and enter I will like click once and then hit on OK. Sorry, go to them, go to Abuja and then click on OK. Then we type Abuja. Then I save it and I OK it. I like to process. You can see it's showing me the progress below here, below the screen. And there you have it now we can now uncheck this and even get rid of it and remove it now you can see you can activate the label feature to see this abuja right click go to property and we change it to um name one that's the field so we select name one and apply and there you have it the fct abuja the federal capital territory so the next step is i would like to introduce us to a, a new to, to a new uh, window now a new setup entirely the search you can actually hit on ctrl f or come to your window 
and then hit on search then we'll be searching for clip in this case we want to clip select clip management not the usual clip with select from uh, digital processing so we'll select clip uh, data management left click on it then this window pops up now this way actually add your raster input raster the raster is our dem file so click it then um output external options we select abuja as the shape file abuja then we scroll down and add use input fusion geometry optional then i click it because i would like us to cut um to cut the entire bound uh, to, uh, to, to to clip in the dem according to the boundary of abuja so what i'll hit on to click ok so there we have it now the most recent one is the new uh, dem that's BEM now what we do is uncheck this and uncheck this you can see that we've now clipped the exact dem of the study area then we can now get rid of it by removing so the next thing is to locate your search if you unpin it you can see it here you can click on it or you come to your window and hit on search then you type in control very easy you hit on search then we have control spatial analyst control 3d analyst we will select control spatial analyst i left clicking on it now it demands that we should end uh impute raster the raster will be this enter it and then output then the control interval we can select two as two meters the z factor and the base control is optional then we can actually give this a location if you want to maybe we should take it to our dem that's the under obviously so we can type abuja abuja control then we save and then we click on ok allow it to process so what we're doing is series of different work with uh, when you're coming when you're like under your so we can now uncheck our dem now we can zoom in carefully you can see that this is the control lining of abuja okay so the next step is to click on the symbology to give it the general color let's give it a brown maybe this or fire red maybe flame right click ok on it it applies and then we'll now uh, level future okay now you can see that is uh, when you zoom in that is your uh, them you can see the values you can also uh, like click to check the attributes of the control values the one which is active so that is that for control so what you need to do next is to save this as your control map what we do is we deselect we select this arrow in order to activate this and then we go to um uh we go to our uh layout view here or you can go to make sure you go to the view through this place in order to save this now we we'll select the paper type on that layout this one let's select a3 landscape and finish then there we have it left click on it and then we'll adjust this loading okay what I would like us to do next is we'll come back to our let's come back to our normal view 
that's the tab view i would like us to include um, the locational map of nigeria so that we'll be able to save this work to show where we extracted extracted the map of abuja from so what we need to do is to connect the folder okay the actually the den is heavy it's making my archives to process very slowly so what i'll do is to uncheck this make it faster so i'll add data i'll select this select this nigeria then and add it remember we added it the other time now you know we have the abuja here we will not adjust this to come up and then activate it then show it give it a more pronounced color let's say red then under nigeria uh, admin one you go to attribute table and see this is Nimwa where it houses the states in Nigeria. So we have to locate, go to our property and go to level feature and activate the name that's name one for other states. So we go to name one and apply and OK. Then we we'll right click again and activate level feature. And there you have it so this will enable us to save dual so what i'll do next is to go to my uh, layered view and then i reduce this to this size then select here and pan then i, I click and copy right click and paste so this is the second one this uh, you have to select the arrow in order to adjust this properly so this will be our location where we extracted it as map of nigeria and then this other map will be where it houses the map of abuja okay that's the control map of abuja so we we'll zoom this we'll zoom in make it large remember i've shown you this process in countless time in other tutorials in the previous tutorials adjust this and then we will check to see actually it's the first so we are okay with this then we have two layers because we have two layers then you select this area left click then we will zoom in zoom in what we will do here is we will check the administrator just adjust abuja we can even check abuja but we will use this as a template to adjust for our control line because it's heavy it's heavy right pan and then i zoom in and adjust and zoom in maybe to this extent this is okay then i can now uncheck abuja and allow abuja control to be activated now it's very very compact and it slows down the entire process maybe we should have given more spacing remember i give the spacing to be 2 you can decide to give the spacing to be 15, 20, 150 in order for us to have this so easy to save and work with what i'm trying to do is to manage what we've started already so what i will do is to uncheck this so that you not um, waste the process the time for saving this map 